Welcome back to Theme Journals. I'm April. Okay, so I took evaluation of this. Um, I guess not all napkins are created equal. At first, I didn't like this until I ironed it and put you know a little bit of heat on it and now I like it. So I'm going to continue with these. I had paused on these while I was thinking about what I was going to do, if I was going to do anything with them. So I'm going to continue working on this off camera, but I just wanted to let you know that I, at first, before I ironed them last night, I didn't like them. And then I flattened them under a book to get them flat again. And they've grown on me. So I'm going to, um, do the other side and then, um, yeah. All right. So that's one thing. The other thing is, is I got all my envelopes made last night. Oops. Sorry. Didn't mean to bonk you all. And then I got today, I don't know if you recognize that, but yeah, I got all of my tabs done. So I finished up the envelopes. I had to do 11 more. So I'm just show you what I sort of did for decorations. This is an interesting flap, a little bit of roses underneath and roses on top. Um, washi tape. And yeah. And the tabs, I must say, I'm loving the tabs. These are the other ones we did before. Okay, so that was what I did so far between our last video and this morning, or tonight's video. And um, I saw my friend Linda today, and she had been over at her friend Renita's, so we've got another happy mail. Um, I must say, I love this. <laughs> Look at that. So I got some scraps of that and then got some blue. This is felt, um, looks like hearts. So that'll be fun for if I ever get around to doing Valentine's Day. I got some more white and purple check fabric to match the gingham I'd already have. I got some more of the, oh, this is Krenlin. And I got more white out um, fabric. So I'm just gonna put it over on my pile over here. Keep it separate. Now look at how pretty this is. Oh my, it has the white out uh, fabric uh, stitched to it, I think. Yeah, but that's easy to remove. So I can use the fabric and the white out fabric for something else. All right, looks like we've got khaki. I haven't looked at any of this except for that first bit of fabric. Now some of these, um, I'll be, I'll show you what I do with some of this because sometimes it's just too small to be used for um, a big project, but, um, these are perfect for small projects. And after I'm done with Mother's Day and I've got everything up in my store and sorted out like that, I'll, sh I'll take a quick break and show you what I do with my scraps after a project. And this is softer. This is um, more like the wedding stuff that you put your little bird seed in or, you know, treats for the, or thank you, pouches for your guests yeah some of these will go straight into my scrap box and then I'll show you what I do with my fabric scraps and this is oh lovely camo and I've got some camo other camo so I'm going to save that and maybe do a um a gentleman's a guy you know a guy's uh a gentleman's journal. So yeah, these will probably go straight into my scrap box. 
Oh, this is a beautiful green. Looks like it probably belonged to a suit or a pair of pants, but look how pretty that is. Hmm. More camo. Camo. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Some of this I might put in a different box, but yeah, got some sparklies. All right. More camo. Yeah, I'm I'm getting excited. I got I'm getting quite a bit of camo, so yeah, that's cool. More gray and blue. So probably hems from skirts and pants yep these are definitely from hems of pants so I got lots of blue here's a slightly different shade of blue more of that blue blue oh yes I know exactly what I'm going to do with this stuff. And then camo. This, is, this camo that I'm pulling out of the bag will make great closures for me. And then it looks like a hem of a dress in green. And I've also decided that my next to-do video we're just going to, it's just going to be of whatever I'm working on. Um, I've gotten to the point where I can't really do anything new until I get all the old projects done. So until all the old projects are done, then I can't really proceed to the next step without all this other stuff being caught up. So we're going to do some mass makes together. It's the only way I'm going to get caught up. Then more green um, satin. More blue hem. Yep. More Kremlin. Now, again, this is more like, it's really super soft, but it's see-through. Be great, um, Stuff for shakers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I think I got a, a bottom por portion of a Kremlin. Yep, indeed. Oof. All right. Hang on. Give me a minute. I gotta throw this in the corner with the other Kremlin I've got. All right. Before I can proceed. I'm showing you what's at the bottom of this um, bag here. All right, let's see what we got. Um, more frilly see-through stuff. Probably hem of a dress. Oh, and more beautiful lace on sheer. And more camo, camo, more lace, some striped material. Yeah. All right, it looks like we've got different shades of black and browns, also leg materials. All right, so that's that's about it. Um, I don't think I need to sh show you, but yeah, it's different colors of black and browns, uh, all in this shape here. Let me see. Okay. So, um, let me show you what I do with my scraps as soon as I get this stuff put back in my bag here. I'm just going to put it all back in the bag. Oh, I'm telling you, I've got to organize. I got to organize. It's driving me crazy, but I'm. I've got to get this Christmas. I got to get Mother's Day done before I can do it. Oh yeah. 
I'm not going to work too late tonight on, on my projects simply because I am exhausted. I was up until midnight last night working on my, um, the different odds and end projects that I had going on. Oh, my stars. Yep. Okay. So let me grab a box. Hang on. Okay, now let me show you what I do with my scraps. With the little scraps, I make um, snippets, just the bases of snippets. So all these are snippets, different shapes. Most of this comes from my Christmas stuff. So you can see that it's Christmas. You can always tell what, I'm, what I am doing according to my snippets. So all this is Christmas different types of Christmas, uh, some Lagrima de Oro and Christmas put together. Now, this is what I do with the extra fabric that really, um, hang on. I like making tags, as I've told you. And what I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna sell these as bases, like maybe a hundred for, I don't know how much, but yeah, uh, eventually I'll sell them. Okay, so I also use my scraps for making a base for a tag. And then on the other side, I use my scraps um, from different things that you can't use for big projects on the back. And then I'm just gonna sew it around with black, black straight stitch all the way around the tag. So I make tags and these are just some of the tags I make. And again, you can see Lagrima del Oro, Christmas, you know, just odds and ends from fall. Different types of papers I've dyed, Lagrima del Oro. And this one isn't done, so, you know, I have some that aren't done. But you can see that I'm using up the scraps, making tags. So that's one of the things I do with my scraps. And then, like this one, I put fabric on the front with the paper and then I put like that on the back so these are just basic tags that you can purchase eventually once I get them all done and then you can you know use it as a background for whatever theme that you're doing and um yeah I think they'd make um great little things and I don't use my cardstock I use junk mail for cardstock so this is truly a junk journal uh project here <laughs> all right so that's what I do with the extra fabric that doesn't really go on anything or my basket of extra pieces now I just work on this during my spare time I don't work on this a lot just when um, I'm in between projects or I'm taking a break from the journals or something else. This is just mindless fun work. And so, but I haven't had a lot of time to do that recently. Now, um, let me show you something really cool. Remember, you know, this from the, the tags I made to cover up the, uh, this was covering up the staples. Yeah. Well, this was what it was wrapped around. And it says, send for this new 48-page booklet called Sewing Secrets. And there's a coupon. You can send it in to this company called the Spool Cotton Company, Department 104. That's in Newark, New Jersey. Please send me a new 48-page book, Sewing Secrets. I enclose five cents. <laughs> wow, this is an old piece of ephemera. And then on the back, it tells you what the secrets are to long-lasting strength of J&P Coats or Clark's ONT. Now, for those of you who don't um, recognize the word Clark's, they do thread and coats. So, and, the, and then they tell you, see how the cords are twisted, and they show you how they do it. <laughs> 
So I, I am planning to do a sewing journal eventually. And so I'm going to save that with some of the other uh, vintage ephemera that I have. And um, yeah, that would let me know if you have in your stash the this new book called Sewing Secrets. I think that would be so much fun. And then you know exactly how old this is because I don't think any booklet has ever been five cents in four years. So if you recognize this book, let me know where, how you know uh, about this book. So anyway, I thought I'd share that fun little piece of ephemera. I'll put it in my e-journal eventually. All right, let's see. I found something else. I think I can put my fingers on it real fast because I can't remember where I stuck the thing. Oh yeah, I oh I found them after being lost for many many videos. Look at what I found. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And this is a terrible bell, but please ring the notification bell so that you can be notified of new content. All right. Thanks guys. And I hope you have a lovely Friday morning and I'll talk to you on Sunday. Bye-bye.